season, we've looked at a variety of organic pest management strategies, including biological control, microbial insecticides, and metal-based fungicides. Today, we're gonna to look at another group of organic pesticides, the botanical insecticides. Now, the word botanical indicates that these are pe uh, pesticides derived from botany, from plants. And uh, some common examples of these are very familiar to us, neem, rotenone, and pyrethrum. And these all come from different types of plants. Now, it's important to note that there's, there's sort of a misconception that just because it's plant-derived, people feel that it's very safe um, to use. But these products are indeed designed to kill insects. So they do have some toxicity, and we want to respect that. Some of them, like rotenone, uh, that's a chemical derived from certain plant roots, including the jicama. That one is used not only to kill insects, but also fish. So, of course, you want to be very careful using it around watersheds. Um, some of the botanical insecticides have mammalian toxicity. A good example would be nicotine. There's nicotine products used as insecticides, but again, we want to be careful of these. So it's important to remember that these are pesticides and we need to treat them respectfully, make sure that we protect ourselves, use them responsibly, and follow the recommended application rates. Let's take a look at a few of these. One of the really common botanical insecticides that's used is neem, usually in the form of neem oil. Neem is a chemical that's extracted from the Azathoracta indica tree. This is a tropical tree. Neem has been used for thousands of years, uh, both medicinally and as an insecticide. Now, most of the time we apply it as an oil. It inhibits um, adult feeding and it kills the immature stages of insects. But this year, a new product has hit the market and it is a water-soluble uh, formulation of neem. And this is interesting because in the past we've had to do foliar applications of the oil, but now that it's water-soluble, we have the option of um, a soil drench because it does have uh, systemic uh, qualities as well. It can also be injected as a tree injection by arborists, so it gives us a little bit um, more options. It also has a higher concentration of the active ingredient as a directin, and so that might have the potential of bringing prices down eventually. The next group I want to look at is pyrethrums. The active ingredient pyrethrin is derived from the flower heads of chrysanthemum cinerarifolium and chrysanthemum coccinium and these are grown mainly in Kenya and Ecuador. Now the chemical pyrethrin has a strong knockdown effect on many different insects and it doesn't always kill them so oftentimes it's combined with uh, rotenone or other chemicals to kind of provide a one-two punch. We'll get the knockdown with the pyrethrin and more of the killing effect with some oils or other chemicals. So you want to look for different formulations of these, um, you, but you want to pay attention to make sure that both the chemicals are registered organic if you're going to be using a, um, a mixed product. There's also a synthetic form of pyrethrin. These are called pyrethroids, and these are not registered organic. So that's another thing you want to pay close attention to if you're using a, a product that has pyrethrin versus pyrethroid. We also see a number of different oils like garlic or hot pepper sprays and these have variable efficacy so you want to you, certainly you're welcome to try them but you want to do a little research to see what types of insects they tend to be most effective against. Botanical insecticides tend to break down quickly in the environment and this can be a benefit because they don't linger, but from a control standpoint, it means that we'll have to make reapplications to maintain efficacy. Now, I did mention there's some non-target effects on fish and mammals with certain chemicals, so we want to pay careful attention to that when we're selecting products. We also want to look at non-target effects on beneficial insects. Botanical insecticides tend to be broad spectrum. Some of them are more target specific, so choose carefully, particularly if you're going to be using them along with biological control or other forms of management. But overall, botanical insecticides do provide a good option as a part of an integrated pest management system.